All right, you guys, we're starting just north of the stratosphere and in front of Jack in the Box. And we are heading down, we're heading down Main Street and just walking through the art district. And I broke out my glide cam, which I rarely use. And let's see how far we can get and see what we can see. All right. Oh yeah. And also in this area, they have a lot of, um, a lot. There are a number, there are numerous used clothing shops, you know, slightly used, unabused clothing, a la Buffalo Exchange. And this is a busy area here. This is a hair salon called, uh, right in front of us, we're coming from the sign, called Atomic Cafe, sorry, Atomic Style Lounge. Unlimited men's haircuts, membership 50 bucks a month. So go in there and get your hair did. Or get that casual cut. And next to the hair shop is Cowtown Guitars. <clears throat> oh, check these out coming up. All oh, these uh, scooters, are they Vespas? I think it's a Vespa club. Check these Vespas out. Pretty cool, yeah? Vespas, hey. And how'd this guy get in there? This is Rebar. A nice and popular bar down here. Been here maybe three times, that's cool. Check this out. Check this out. So then, tattoos, ten tattoos, and ten dollar piercings. <laughs> How you doing? Doing it right, man. And right here is the Buffalo Exchange. Used and only slightly abused clothing. Well, new and recycled fashion. Retro Vegas. And here we go. Funny thing about the old uh, Welcome to Vegas sign, the one who created it did not copyright it, which was kind of good now because it's everywhere. Yeah. 
All right. Now across from Metro Vegas is a place called, uh, hold on please. Makers and Finders Urban Coffee Bar. I've been there once. I had a, uh, some kind of sandwich thing. It was tasty. I quite enjoyed it. Oh, and let us not forget about our pink flamingos. All right. Now, here's a place called Jimmy Land with their reggae kitchen. Now, I have never been inside there, but I wanted to visit it, you know? Yeah, you see? Jimmy Land. So like I said, there's a variety of shops down here in the art district. And if you're in the area, come on down. I think I'm going to cross Charleston. Hydroponics. Can you see me? Okay, this area is where they have the uh, first Fridays. And we're gonna cut through here, well, be appropriate, and go to the path and hang a right. And Vegas also has these um, rent your bicycle by the hour things. I never tried it but they're in downtown area. So it can be convenient if you are roaming around and don't want to walk or make a video with the Glycam. It's convenient. Oh crap, I'm gonna do this. They also have art galleries down here. So on first Fridays, 
the street's blocked off and no cars allowed to drive. Let's throw in a clip of some First Friday stuff, maybe 15 seconds worth, and hit it. <laughs> See, this whole area, this parking lot on First Friday has um, artists and food things. And the drum circle is usually right about here. All right. And this place right here, artifice, delicious. Bar, and I believe they serve food also. And as you see, we're at Art Square. Well, Art Square. And here is Priscilla Fowler Fine Art Studio Gallery. There is her website. Jeez. Come in. We're open. I guess they have an exhibition now called Revolt of the Stool Chairs by Adam Turrell. And this is a little bar and snack place right here. It's closed right now. And appropriately, no one under 21. Business hours, Sunday closed. So, hang on. The stratosphere way off in the distance. Okay. All right. Oop. And we're very near downtown, Fremont Street Experience, because off in the distance, if I can zoom in, wait, that's the plaza. I think we're very close to the uh, bus station. So let's swing past that. I guess we are.
some more machinery doing something. Burmese tiger trap. Woo. How you doing, man? What's up? I'll just go around. Thank you. Have a good day. You too, man. I'm trying to learn, you know? <laughs> I started down by uh, Jack in the Box. <laughs> I want the electric one, you know? They cost like $600. This was $100. <laughs> I know, yeah. Right on, man. Hey, check it out, you guys. Because the street is blocked off, I'm just gonna walk in the street. Oh, and down here, near the bus station, there are numerous, hang on, numerous bail bonds. So, see another one right there, 24 hour. So if you get in trouble in Vegas, you don't have far to go. They can spring you out of a jug. Ha <laughs> ha. Additionally, down here, there's tons of law offices in this area. I think this will run out in 30 minutes. So, wherever we are, that'll be it for this segment. Maybe. A bus station.
Now, I think this sign here is a historical sign because many years ago there was a Fifth Street liquor store and I guess it was popular or famous or infamous for some reason. I didn't check, so uh, interesting. And across the street is the bus station. And that's just about where we're going to shut it off. At the corner of Casino Center and Garces. There is Casino Center. And there is Garces. $6.00. Check this out. So this is the bail bondsman right here across from the bus station. And they have Gatorade and water for a dollar. Okay, cool. All right? They're open. Okay, cool. But check out the, the, um, the cage around the vending machine. Jeez. Thanks for joining me on our walk from Jack in the Box all the way to the bus station. I'm heading up to Tremont Street to relax and hang out. Maybe gamble? Nah, not really. Just walk around. And uh, thanks for joining me. Tell all your friends. So thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.